A shortened stage for the bikes and quads today for security reasons. That was due to poor visibility early this morning. 194 kilometres of timed section on the menu between Arequipa and La Paz. First, though, 356 kilometres of link section to cover. That's around eight hours in the saddle. The remarkable landscapes around Lake Titicaca providing a dramatic backdrop. But this was a tough day, make no mistake. The cold conditions providing a stark contrast to the heat of the Peruvian desert. Now, overall leader Adrian van Beveren had complained of a slight chill before getting underway. He came 10th today, but only lost around three and a half minutes. The Yamaha man, a sand specialist, showing he can hold his own on the tracks as well. His teammate Xavier de Sultra was exactly 15 seconds quicker in ninth, making a splash here early on, but he's back up to fourth overall. Third last year, Gerard Fares is still a little bit off the pace. The Hermoinsa man 18 minutes back. But a really solid effort today from his teammate Daniel Oliveras. The Spaniard flying high in fifth on the stage. Now, Matthias Wagner has been stealing a fair amount of the KTM limelight in recent days, but he was outshone by his teammates here. Toby Price finished in third place, only 30 seconds off the pace. The 2016 winner looking in decent shape. He's under 10 minutes back overall. Price with exactly the same time as this man, Kevin Benavides, the new overall leader. The Honda star was only running a minute behind Van Beveren at the start of the day, and he gained around three to move to the top of the standings. Benavides looking more and more like a serious contender for overall victory. But it was Frenchman Antoine Mayo who took the day's stage win, his third at the Dakar and his first of 2018. The five-time enduro world champion with a superbly controlled ride through the tricky wet conditions. He moves into the top seven overall, just behind his KTM teammate Price. It was tough. It felt like the bike was asthmatic at the start, lacking a bit of power, and it was slippery, of course, with the rain. But overall, I'm happy. No major errors. It was a good stage. A good stage and a tight one. Mayo coming in 30 seconds clear of Benavides and Price, and a superb fourth place there for Diego Martin Duplessis of the MEC team. So Benavides, the new leader, heading into the rest day, but Van Beveren and Vorkner are within three minutes. As the fans gather in a chilly Arequipe to wave off the Dakar 2018 field, it's au revoir to the Peruvian sand and dunes and hello to the rough, fast, mountainous tracks of Bolivia. The cars can expect a real dip in engine power as they climb to 4,700 metres for stage six. In his first outing on the Dakar as a Toyota works driver, Dutchman Bernard Ten Brinker has three-time Dakar winner co-driver Michel Perrin alongside him. At this rate, they could be on target for a podium finish. 2009 Dakar winner Janiel de Villiers is way back in the overall standings, but there's a long way to go. Between them, de Villiers and Nasser Alatia are still spearheading the campaign for Toyota to win the Dakar for the first time. And on this stage, the Qatari puts in a great performance on the first part of stage six, keeping the pressure on those Peugeots. Very difficult, you know, training, attitude, and uh, yeah, it's not easy, you know, but okay, we try to manage and uh, finish uh, the stage. It's been a baptism of fire for the new two-wheel drive mini buggy, but the indefatigable Finn, Mikko Hirvonen, keeps bouncing back from difficulties, and today he's keeping up with three former Dakar winners. Little bit of ditch hooking here, en route to a fourth quickest time. Despite being half an hour behind teammate and rival Peter Hansel, 2010 Dakar winner Carlos Sainz is not holding back. A provisional stage win for the Spanish rallying legend. Rally leader by more than half an hour, Peter Hansel is provisionally second quickest on the stage and maintains his lead under these very difficult conditions. Uh, it's a real change, Peru Act 1, Bolivia Act 2, high altitude, 4,700 metres, hard to remain focused 
and the engines are struggling, plus the first raindrops. It's a different world as Dakar 2018 hits the heights of Bolivia.